Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be firing up the Kamado Joe, doing some tandoori chicken skewers, and cooking up some Marcella roasted potatoes. Hope you all enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. For the first part, you're going to want to wash your potatoes. The second part, you're going to want to clean them. And you're going to want to take the skin from them. Alright folks, once you're done uh, peeling your potatoes, you're going to want to quarter them. When you're cutting them, you're going to want to try to keep them relatively close to the same size so they cook evenly. You know, after a couple of cuts, you're gonna need a sip of beer. My throat's kind of parched. So you're gonna take a sip of this good old grandpa's cough syrup, you know what I mean? Always time for a beer sip. Doesn't matter what you're cutting or what you're doing. Just drive that beer into you. Alrighty, so I made a mistake. I cut these potatoes before I even got the spices ready. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a bowl and throw all these potatoes in the bowl. I don't want them changing color, so I'm gonna put them in cold water. I think it's sitting up there for, you know, it's gonna, they can sit up there for an hour, they're not going to change color. Might make them a little more crispier by getting some of that uh, starch over the cold water. So I kind of maybe just might have did myself a favor. So I'll throw these in a bowl. In they go. They're all going for a little swim. So they don't go brown on me. Alrighty, now they're going to get some cold water. Alright, let me know when you're ready, Igor. You recording? Yeah. Fuck, you keep doing that to me. Damn it. <laughs> All right, you gotta point this at the water now. So this is the neck explanation of the video. All right, so once you get your water into the pot, you wanna put some sea salt. You wanna taste like the Mediterranean, so you're gonna add a bunch of salt to it. For this application, you're also gonna wanna add two tablespoons of turmeric. Throw that in, there's one, there's two. Now we're gonna part boil these potatoes and we're gonna take them out just before they break because you want that crusty little edges once they start cooking. So you're gonna throw that in, turn the heat on to max, bring it to a boil, and give it a nice little stir. The turmeric's gonna add a beautiful, beautiful color to these potatoes. And have some nice flavor. This is gonna be a home run. So now that's going. Put that little stir. It's time to take a sip. Cheers, everyone. You ready? All right, so here's the potatoes. I just took it to the cold water. Now I'm going to throw these right into the boiling water. Be careful when you do this because they are going to splash and you could get burnt. Just drop them in. Kind of drop them in and let them go away from you. Throw your couple beers deep. It's not even going to matter. If you burn yourself or not. All right. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> oh, the smell of that. Oh my god. Oh, Igor, we're gonna eat good tonight, brother. It's uh... fucking right. Oh, I just splashed everything, making a huge mess. Alright, once these part boil, I'll show you exactly the point where we want to get to. Get a nice little crispy edge where they're not fully falling apart, but close to. You got some firmness. Alright, you're gonna want to let that boil in 7 to 10 minutes. Then we'll check them in. All right, time to prep the bacon sheet for the potatoes. So once you're done part boiling, you're gonna put one on here, but you're gonna need a little bit of oil. Throw down a little olive oil. Press this paper towel. Just kinda rub it all around the whole surface. All right, and that's good. A little bit more olive oil won't hurt. It's gonna give you a little more crispiness. And we take a sip. That's what we like to do around here. All right, for these potatoes, you're gonna to wanna to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So I'll set that to 400 degrees. You're gonna start. And you're gonna do this for 40 to 50 minutes. So it's gonna take six minutes to heat up, so we're gonna go 56 minutes. There we go. Then once you get your potatoes in the oven, you're going to rotate them approximately every 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice, golden, and crispy. Then I kind of cool the water down, not a big deal. Turn it up and roll with it. Nice. Oh, nice. Flavor that's just in these bad boys. It's going to be money. 
Straight cash, homie. Straight cash. I love it. Here we go. Another sip. Oh, those potatoes are going to explode. You know what? New York, it's time for me to reload. Break killer. Potatoes, a nice little stir. Oh, yeah, that's coming up nicely. Woo! Oh, it's gonna be delish. As long as I don't fuck it up, Igor. Look at the color of those potatoes. Bright yellow. Looking beauty. Alright, give these bad boys a nice constant stir. Still a little firm, a little too firm and for my liking. Once they start getting a little bit more softer, I might have to get a fork and check them. I want to see them kind of get yeah, a little bit more softer. And right down on the tray they're going to go with the oil. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. We'll see. I'm going to drain these, let them dry. Oh, here we go. Alright. Take a beauty. Alright, give these bad boys a nice constant stir. Still a little firm, a little too firm and for my liking. Once they start getting a little bit more softer, I might have to get a fork and check them. Have you done this uh, recipe before, Jamie? No, I've never done it. And to be honest, with you, I don't know why I picked this recipe because every time I do a recipe for the first time, I fuck it up big time. I could have <laughs> done something easy, I chose not to. I said, we're going to go with something with a million ingredients. Why I did that, I do not know. So here we go. Hope I don't fuck it up and make myself look like an idiot, but who cares? Balls to the wall, right? Cut on the floor. Fuck it. You got that recording still, Igor, or what? Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna put all the ingredients into a bowl. There's uh, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of garam masala, three tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of chili powder, and two tablespoons of cayenne. Hopefully it's not too hot, people can handle it. All right, we're gonna wanna combine all these ingredients here, nice and evenly. Oh, that smells money, dude. That smells money. All right, so I part boiled these potatoes to the perfect consistency. Some are a little too soft, whatever, no big deal. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them in this bowl, and I'm gonna season them up. So now I'm gonna grab the seasoning. Just season these bad boys up. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, that's money. All right. I'm going to grab a pair of tongs. That makes it up nicely. I'm going to bring up too many of these pieces. Nice job, <clears throat> Crispy bits, Igor. Got it away. You can beat Jamie. You can beat Jamie. There we go. We're gonna throw a little more olive oil right on top. Why? Why not? Oh, hard leaving. Pat, 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 beer. Yeah, I never heard of Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh man. All right. Oh, here we go. Masala roasted potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at that richness. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now we flip. You know what happens when we flip, Igor? We take a sip. Woo! Oh, look at that color of that one. Oh, they're getting they're getting tender. Oh my god. Now I gotta be careful. They're getting ooh. You ready to see the final product? Sure. Oh my god. 
Yeah, I completed five weeks straight at the gym. Nice. Well, I did my first week of cardio this week. Oh my god, that's Four funny. Times. It's like that crispy. What? Oh my Are god. You? That's amazing. Well, that's straight cash, homie. Like Y'all gonna enjoy that. What do you think of that? That's money. That is money. Oh, I got some smiles. You recording? Yep. All right, here we go. This is gonna be the the marinade for the tandoori chicken. Here we go. We got a container, approximately four cups of yogurt going in. Can't get it all. This. All right, right here we got two tablespoons of mustard powder going in the pool, two tablespoons of cumin going in. We got two tablespoons of turmeric going in. We got two tablespoons, one salt, one pepper going in the pool. Fresh garlic, four grated garlic cloves going in. We got about a two inch by two inch piece of ginger that's going in the pool. Go oh, get in there. Here we got eight teaspoons of chili powder. Going in the pool. And we got tandoori spice, four teaspoons of that, and we mix. Alright, keep mixing until we get an even consistency. You can see it all comes together nicely. Alright. Pro tip number one. You want the authentic color of tandoori? Got a couple. Oh, gotta open up properly. Oh yeah, that's gonna be dangerous. Try to do this without Got a couple drops of red food coloring. And mix. Come on, Nick, get that beer in your hand, kid. Oh, one little more red. Run up that a little bit more. Oh, there we go. All right, keep mixing. Keep mixing till you get the color you like. A little bit more. You might have to edit that shit out, Igor. <laughs> oh, I said shit. I've said shit many times. He's gonna edit it all out. Am I really? Yeah, you're gonna have to edit. I it thought all we were going. Out. I thought we were going authentic, 100. All right, keep going. I don't give a. F <laughs> <laughs> Editing done by absolutely no one. <laughs> we were already saying that earlier. That's all you said. That. <laughs> all right, now you're starting to get the color you want. I'm really put all in there. Alright, there we go. First it was four drops, now it's half. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, yeah, I'm not half, getting the color like half the bottle. I don't think I have a bottle. Is there any other way to get the red color? I don't know. There probably is with spikes. There we go. No, it's looking better. There we go. Oh, that's red. There we go. It's gonna need a little more. It's not the color I want it. It's close, but not the color I want it. So you're gonna add, keep you're gonna keep adding this until you get the color you want. I'll add a little bit more. Who gives a? We don't judge on color. We're not racist around here. We love everyone. We love everyone. Oh, there we go. There we go. Looking money. Fuck it, I want a little more. I want, I want a vibrant. I want a vibrant. I want, I want a picture of the grill to look money. And add some more. These guys are sitting here killing themselves laughing. Like, holy, f how much f red food color do you can add? I'm gonna keep adding it until I like the consistency of what I got. That's what I'm gonna keep doing. Darts and dinner. Darts and dinner. It's the color of your chain balls. 
starts and then are shaved with. All right, perfect consistency right there. That's the color I like. See if it tastes like Pandora that night. Yeah, he's gonna know it better than anyone of us now. Look. You got lemon juice in there? Or something that's sour? Something you know sour? what, you're right, I do need, I do need actually, it's funny you say that, you're something, right, I do need something it. Something sour and something sweet. Yeah. Some sugar and some... Get it all the It does, it does actually, it does call for that. That's funny that you just said that. Hardy, right, you're gonna have to do a lot of editing. Mike, Mike to the rescue. Mike to, Mike the, rescue. to the rescue. Hey, this is Mike, everyone. I just finished winning a game of darts, so it kind of tastes like victory to me. And it was lime juice. I think I need to add. All right, we need some acidity in the sauce, so we're gonna add some fresh lime. Here's the day. Stew's in here for the assist, helping a brother out. All right. All right, Igor, we're making this up as we go now. All right, here we go. We're going to prep the chicken thighs. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I thought maybe we we'll try to cut them all uniformly, fit on the skewer. I just go after her. Yeah. And we're going to cook them all even. So let's grab each one and dice them up nicely, and they're going to go into our tandoori marinade. You're going to want to marinate this for anywhere from 68 hours, even overnight. Even. All right, and the marinade it goes, Igor. Key to mixing it, breaking it all apart, getting in there, getting in all the bits. Just having like, get the marinade right in there. Leave this three, four hours, overnight, it's best. We're gonna be cooking these tandoori skewers right on the Kamado. Uh, right now I'm gonna prep it, and here's what I'm gonna do. Remove the grills. The next one. You don't want to get the deflector plates out of there. Right there. Be gentle with these. These will break. Put that off to the side. And the next one. Put that one off to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean out the ash box. Open it up to the bottom. Got an old spatula there. Kind of work it around, find, get all that fine dust right to the bottom. I'll show you what I mean in a second. All right. And then I work all the fine little bits through the grate. And that right there is what you're going to get. You want to dispose of that so you get nice airflow. All right, folks, for you guys who are beginners at cooking and just learn how to do it with charcoal, I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna get your chimney, flip it upside down. You're gonna grab some newspaper, two, three pieces, crumple it all up. Make a nice big ball, fill it in. All right, once you got that in, you're gonna flip it back over, like so. Grab your favorite charcoal, and I do mean your favorite charcoal, now this bag I got is a new bag and I really like this kind of charcoal. Look at that monster. We're gonna put that off to the side. And we're gonna fill this up. Just trickle it in until she's full. If you drop some, no big deal. Pick it up later. Alrighty. So that fill up kind of any little gaps there. And there we go. Now we're gonna bring it over and I'll show you how to light it. All right, it's kind of windy out here. You want to lift that up? Oh, there we go, we're lucky. When it's windy, down where I live, it's very windy, so if the charcoal, or sorry, the newspaper does burn out pretty quick, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab another three pieces. Throw it underneath, not a big deal. Just as long as you get that charcoal going. 
Once you see flames shooting up the top, your charcoal is going to be ready. The barbecue, open, prepped, ready to go. And now we wait. While we wait, we're going to take a sip of beer because I'm thirsty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, it's exactly what I said was going to happen. Uh, because it's so windy out today, you can see by the newspaper and everything blowing, I went through my newspaper pretty quick. So just grab it up, grab another round. Throw it underneath. Sometimes it will catch by itself. If it doesn't, grab your trust a little later. Oh, it's so windy. To oh, there we go. Oh, no. There we go, Igor. We got fire. All right, now all the charcoal is in. Mixed it all up. There we go. Now we're going to put uh, the deflector plates on. And this is what I'll show you. I have these up. So now I'm going to cook with these facing down. The reason why I do that is to burn off any of the excess. So you're going to want to put these down nice and gentle. Just one. Maneuver it around and play it that one's in place. One, upside down. direct flame off your chicken. I don't particularly have a fatty chicken that's going to cause a lot of flare up, but I do want to cook these a little bit on the slower side. Chicken thighs, I like cooking them slow so they turn out so tender, so juicy. Doing it this way, it's a win-win every time. I'm about to get a drink, a couple extra beers while I do it. Alright, time to put cast iron grills on. Grill number one. Oh, that's not, there we go. Close the lid, open up this fully until we get to a temperature of approximately 250 degrees where I want to cook these chicken skewers at. That's going to give it some nice color, it's going to be beautiful. Alright, so what happened here was I was inside, I was prepping the ingredients for the tandoori chicken skewers and uh, I had the charcoal going, I kind of overshot my mark by 150 200 degrees so now I did about a little over 400 um, now what I'm doing now is if you zoom in here I close these right here you see this close out a bit restrict the airflow to bring it down so now I'm at about 350 degrees so I overshot it but you can always bring it back it takes time you're essentially burning charcoal you don't want to burn but in times like this you get caught it, it, it happens so I uh, just Close your dampers, restrict the airflow, bring the temperature you want to cook with. Once you overshoot on a Kamado, it's, it takes time to bring it down. You're essentially losing money. You don't want to do that. But I got caught up doing, you know, prep work. So for the future, try to pay attention to what you're doing. Don't do what I did. Cheers. Oh yeah, there we go. Get these ready. We're going to get them oiled up. Now we're going to be ready to put the tandoori skewers right on these bad boys. Here I got some canola cooking spray. I'm going to put on the cast iron grill so the, the tandoori chicken kebabs will not stick. Follow me. It's a little windy, so you want to get a little close to normal. Just kind of get close, go a little bit by bit. There we go. Just kind of give a nice nice coverage. So that way your skewers, oh, you got a little flame. It's okay, don't worry, it'll go out in a second. All right, now we're going to close the lid. All right, we want this about 250 degrees and we're ready to cook. Got a little, got a little out of control, but we're bringing it back down. Come in as we're ready to go. Come back in a second. All day, ladies and gentlemen, these are the best tandoori skewers you're ever gonna see in your life. The smell, amazing. Put that out here. There we go. There we go. Perfect temperature, cruising around 300. We're gonna start throwing these bad boys on one by one. Oh, I hear that sizzle. That's money. Straight cash, homie. Gonna throw them on. Wanna close the lid. Right there. Gonna 
give a little bit of room between each one. lid and we wait. Oh look at that. Smell that Igor? Can you smell that? Oh my god. Tandoori chicken at its finest. Alright time to close the lid ladies and gentlemen. Alright ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go for our first flip. Let's see how she looks. Oh my god, look at that caramelization. Oh, that smell. Oh, what? Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's good. That's amazing. That charcoal. Oh, here we go. Let's get this bad boy. Bring that bad boy right over here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that one, not as much coloring. That's okay. So at least now we know our hots and our okay hot and cold side of the barbecue oh. so we know right now our charcoal is a little cooler over here a little warmer over here keep that as a mental note ah, just a touch oh, that smell smell that oh my god look at this this is what's going on to garnish these bad boys is going right on the grill do this some lemons when you grill a lemon kind of tastes like you know the juice kind of tastes like candy it's a nice sweet beautiful it's a thing of beauty all right gonna shut this and we're good oh my god this is turning out oh wow wow unbelievable unbelievable give each one a flip oh my god that's cooked right through all right there you go Igor here all that broken out <laughs> That's money. Oh my god. Dude, you can taste that marinade right through it. That is so good. And we're gonna throw some of these bad boys on this side. What do you think? Oh yeah. Eating those bits, Igor. We're eating them. I'm eating them too. Fucking course, right, yeah. we're eating those. Oh, yeah. That looks beautiful. I'm gonna put this one. That one's almost, I think that one's pretty much done. We're just gonna keep that one warm on the. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, like that. Just gonna push that one off the side. Oh, that piece fell off. That side, all these chunks of ch huh? Time for some lemon to go on. Look at this. It's gonna be the money right here. Throw some lemon right on the grill. Don't be scared. Throw it right on. Oh, all right. We're gonna let this cook for another 10 minutes. We'll be back. Stay tuned, folks. All right, here we go. I left this aside when I made the sauce just so we could baste. We're at the exact basting period right now. You grab some of this, kind of rub it all over these bad boys. Oh my god, more flavor. Get it all over there. Oh my god. Smell that. Oh, it's hitting the. Oh my god. 
Love it. Love it. This smell, phenomenal. One of my favorite chickens to do. I could eat this every day. Every day I could eat this. Oh, with a char. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Once you get every piece coated, we're going to give them a little flippy. And Igor, what do we do every time we flip? Take a sip. We take a sip, homie. Here we go. Cheers, y'all. All right, here we go. Chicken tandoori, chicken skewers. These bad boys are done. They're falling. They're so tender. They're falling off the skewer right now. I got a little bit to go on the lemon. Let's just check out one of these bad boys. Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Look at the steam coming off that. It's not quite. You want to caramelize that sugar inside of that lemon? Check out this one. Still needs more. This bad boy. Ooh, that one's close. That one's close. We're, we got a good, nice, nice little hot spot right there. Same right there. Look at that. When you squeeze that juice from that lemon after it's been on the grill, it's going to be a nice, sweet treat. Don't be afraid to try it. Put it on skewers, put it on kebabs. You're all going to love it. Cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen. After cooking this, I figured what would cool down tandoori, a little bit of spicy. We're going to do a, a cilantro lime crema. Watch this. All right, open your sour cream. Let me get a bowl. So two big nice scoops straight in that bowl. Need a zest of one lime. I can smell it already. It smells amazing. The zest. The juice. Right in we go. Oh, I can smell that right now. It smells so good. Let's throw that bad boy in there. Some cilantro. We got a bunch of cilantro. A nice mix, incorporate it all. It does smell money. Thanks, Killer Mike, for your idea. A little salt and pepper. And mix. Less money. Hey, hope you all enjoy my recipe. Cheers. You don't have to edit that part out, Igor. You can just keep the burps in. Find my barbecue later here. Oh, what did I do with it? My barbecue letter is now missing. Leave it up there. I don't know. Guess 
when you need something in the midst of something. We're gonna have to edit this guy's right? voice. This guy doesn't even have a voice. <laughs> it's a screeching <laughs> mess. Who's this f***ing guy in the background <laughs> screeching? What happened to this guy's voice? <laughs> How come his voice is so squeaking away? Squeaking away back there. <laughs> Hamilton! <laughs> This is where you're going to have to fast forward through all this cutting. Or you speed it up. Or is it if you're just only on a diet? That's called fast forwarding, Nick. Alright, clean this up. My three months I should be... Alright. Cheers, everyone. Cilantro? I like cilantro. Who don't like cilantro? I like beer better. Beer is better than cilantro. <laughs> cilantro just looks good on food. Beer looks good every time. No matter what situation you're in, beer's always there for you. Slant drawing. You guys are not really making my life any easier. Hey, <laughs> shut the up. It's too late now.